Now a lot of us are looking for little staycations we can take this summer. And if you like bacon or pork, we've got one for you. Well, I do. So I'm looking forward to this report by Penny Commit because she's taken us to Smithfield, a town first explored in 1608 and today offers enough fun and flavors for the whole family. What it's like to be a business owner in downtown Smithfield is like it's the coolest town in the world. When you think of Smithfield, you probably think bacon or ham. <laughs> but local business owner Jim Abbott says, think again. There's so many neat things that go on here. Walking through downtown Smithfield, you may notice there's not a single chain restaurant or store, and that's done on purpose to give visitors and residents a truly authentic small town feel. You won't find an empty storefront in downtown Smithfield, lined with unique boutiques, a classic ice cream parlor, and Jim's 29-year-old Christmas store, which might I add is the only place in the world you can find these pig Christmas ornaments. Smithfield's Main Street is where Southern charm comes alive. It's the best place to be. But who am I kidding? The city does love ham. They even have the world's oldest one. So this ham was made in Smithfield over 100 years ago. Yeah, it was, it was in 1902. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Stored at the Isle of Wight County Museum, the 121-year-old piece of swine sits inside one of our area's oldest bank buildings. Here on the vault, the, the BS for the Bank of Smithfield is still really beautiful. And when visiting Smithfield, not only can you see history, you can even taste it too. Mm. These are sweet potato biscuits, uh, house made with the Smithfield country ham. Operated by Smithfield Foods, the Taste of Smithfield offers restaurant visitors just that. And let me just say, if you thought ham was good before. So all these Smithfield meats, they're smoked, cooked in house by Chef Brandon here. Correct. He holds it down. Matter of fact, I think he has some stuff in there right now. Wait, you gotta try one. This is really good. <laughs> try having it fresh, right from the town it's made in. By law, if you get a genuine Smithfield ham, it says that it has to be cured within the town limits of Smithfield. But Smithfield Mayor Steve Bowman says if you need a break from the poor sign parade, or maybe you're a vegetarian, enjoy some time by the water ride down and dock at Smithfield Station, have dinner there. Visit Windsor Castle Park or stop by St. Luke's. It's Virginia's oldest church building. Constructed in 1685, the structure is amazingly still more than half original fabric. Give me a guess, how many bricks do you think they were expected to pump out in one day? 100. How about 1,700 to 2,000? And it gives nods to Isle of Wight families who helped found our country. Uh, a Samuel Jordan was actually one of the first members of the House of Burgesses in 1619. So whether you're a history buff, a shopaholic, or a foodie like me, this fried bologna sandwich is unreal. Smithfield has a little bit of something for everyone. I wouldn't live anywhere else. I really wouldn't. It's just, it's just a beautiful place. The people are great. And the things to do are, you know, unlimited. That food looked really good. <laughs> the food was so good. I had so much fun putting together this story. And guys, Smithfield's second biggest money maker behind Smithfield Foods, of course, is actually tourism. So they put a lot of effort into mm -hmm. making it a great experience for visitors. If you live there, I just, I'm a sucker for those small little towns with the downtowns and all the shops. Yeah, they do a great job bringing people into the area too. I mean, I've spent a lot of time at Windsor Castle Park, mm -hmm. Smithfield Station, and let me just say that that ham sandwich, like the little sweet potato <laughs> one, I need to get exactly where you got that from because it looked delicious. Yes. It was so good. Taste of Smithfield, there's also the breweries there. Yeah. There's so much to do there, enough for the whole family. All right, Penny, thank you for taking us to Smithfield. <laughs>